Welcome to Hello Ladies. Mari prathi roju Hello Ladies lo manam garments gurinchi chustu untam kadandi. Mari garments ke matching fashion accessories kuda ento important kada. Alanti fashion accessories ni fashion jewelry ni Tollywood Bollywood stars ki design chestunna designer Suhani Pitti ni ee roju manam kalavabothunnam. Mari inga enta kalasyam chusedam ma interview. Welcome to Hello Ladies. I'm good. So, we would first like to know about your journey into this uh, fashion uh, jewelry designing. Right. right. Uh, this actually started in 2004. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm not trained in uh, jewelry designing or jewelry manufacturing, okay. but actually I'm a trained gemologist, mm -hmm. and I used to teach gemology when I was in Calcutta. Okay. And I got married in 2004. I moved to Hyderabad in 2004. And I was making something from my mum-in-law. It's just mm -hmm. some old silver. I just folded it and I put one little hook on it, and then she wore it. And a lot of people started asking me about it. So I thought that maybe this could be a career. Okay. And two months later, uh, of my being in Hyderabad, I participated in an event called Bridal Asia in Delhi. Mm -hmm. I took up a booth there, and uh, one of the biggest stores of India, Ensemble, bought all my work. Okay. So I think I did not look for the career. The career found me. <laughs> And since then, it's just by God's grace, it's been going in that direction very well. Okay, okay. So, uh, how did you happen to uh, design it for the uh, film stars? You know, uh, I think what is happening is our film industry today, all of these girls with the kind of travel they do and the production money that goes into every film, mm -hmm. their exposure level, they're very adaptable and they're very experimentative in nature. I mean, there was a time when the girls, their dressing was very stereotypical. Now, mm -hmm. everyone wants to try something new. Everyone wants to make a statement. Everyone wants to uh, bring forward their personality. So, and I think our jewellery, because we don't do uh, mass production, mm -hmm. and also our jewellery has a very strong dialogue. Okay. I think it resonates very well with their style. And that's what started happening. Sonam every year wears our jewellery to Khan. And Vidya Balan is wearing our work. And Priyanka is wearing our work. And here, our South Indian beauties, Lakshmi Manchu wears a lot of our work. Amla mm -hmm. Paul is wearing our work. Kajal Agarwal is a very different, and she's wearing a lot of our work. So I think what is happening is these girls have such beautiful, strong personalities mm -hmm. that they're finding something in the jewelry which is connecting to them. Okay. And I never pushed it forward. I've never marketed my work. But somehow, by God's grace, it has worked well. They have picked up my work. They're understanding it. We've become friends. So I've started understanding what is their dressing. Okay. So because of that, there's a good evolution which is happening. Okay. Uh, between uh, these beauties and our work. So, uh, whenever you're designing it for a film star right. or or probably a celebrity for an event, right? So, do you consider their dress and then give the uh, uh, jewelry? You know, most importantly is obviously their personality. Mm -hmm. Like uh, someone like, for example, Amla Paul, she's such a beautiful Indian uh, ethereal kind of a person. Now, someone like Sonam, she's so she's so Western and experimentative. So, of course, their personality is the first thing that comes in, okay. and they also dress according to that because they all have stylists. The style Lists work with them. The jewelry comes in after their main looks are finalized because mm -hmm. then I start working on okay, if, if it's a tuxedo, if her hair is going to be tied, how is that going to work out? But a lot of times they also try to make the jewelry the main focus. Like, for example, Khan's uh, this year and also the year before mm -hmm. this, Sonam wore some very strong pieces from us and she wove. The, the garments according to the jewellery. Okay. So that is also a very big compliment to us. So um, the personality comes in, the garment comes in, the whole look comes in, the environment comes in, if it's a day event, if it's a night event, mm -hmm. if she's going for an ad shoot or if it's a award ceremony. Of course, it's an award ceremony, you can go really dramatic. Okay. So those factors always come in play. Okay. So uh, what are the, uh, I mean, is it uh, metal? Is it made of metal or uh, what do you make these uh, jewellery out of? See, uh, because I'm not trained mm -hmm. in jewellery manufacturing, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So 10 years back when I started, I started with silver. Mm -hmm. Then slowly silver became so expensive that there was no logic in charging so much to the client. Okay. So I worked with copper, I worked with brass, I worked with German silver, I worked with acrylic, I worked with Bakelite, I worked with thermocol. I worked with anything mm -hmm. that I, that you know, kind of catches my creative fancy because people are enjoying the dialogue which is in the jewellery. People are not buying jewellery for locker space or they're not buying jewellery for investment anymore. They're buying it because they want to wear it today. Definitely. So you know that whole uh, psychology of the Indian woman has changed. Our dressing has become so simple. We go out so much. Okay. So we need accessories to, you know, like, like I'm wearing the simplest green outfit but I'm wearing something like that which 
creates a dialogue which conveys something about their personality mm-hmm. so i think that is a very important shift which has happened in the indian uh, you know psychology okay. and because of that i am playing with a lot of material i am having a lot of fun a lot of it is gold plating we do try to carry gold plating okay. and uh, a lot of it is done in copper a lot of it is in silver okay. there's some very fun acrylics so i'm having a lot of fun doing it okay some of your uh, jewelry collection which stars or celebrities have one of course please yes. come please come um right for for example if you see this one here mm-hmm. this is a very statement piece that we did for sonam she was wearing a very simple gray and black sari okay. and she wore this at the l'oreal event at cannes of course let me show you some things uh, for example right here this mm-hmm. is something that we did for sonam uh, for cannes Two okay. years back, it was okay. a very striking piece, a very strong piece, and she has such a beautiful body language. Mm-hmm. She was able to carry it off so stunningly, and she wore with a simple gray and black sari. Okay. So that was a very big highlight moment. She wore it for the uh, L'Oreal event at the Cannes. Mm-hmm. So that was a very big moment. Then here uh, yeah, we have uh, Ashwarya, mm-hmm. and these these were her earrings. She chose them to wear it. Uh, they were launching a very prime property in Bombay, mm-hmm. so she was a brand ambassador for them. So okay. that's the earring she wore. Mm-hmm. Then uh, of course there's uh, Sonakshi here. Okay. She chose these for film fair. Okay. for a shoot with film fair again stunningly beautiful so indian and so you know i guess the indianness of the piece it's it's very modernly styled but mm-hmm. there is an indian element so it works very beautifully with all of them okay and then, actually what inspired you to make this this kind of jewelry you know this collection in particular that you're seeing this is tribal inspired okay. um, it was actually a story called dances with the earth mm-hmm. and the whole mood was it's, it's inspired by these tribes who live in orissa mm-hmm. and uh, you know tribes it's something very interesting about them that they have very little in the world in the sense the kind of privileges that we come from and the kind of fortunate lives we live mm-hmm. but they have a lot of faith in terms of their worship in the sun okay. their worship in flora their worship in fauna their worship of mother earth so i think that's a very strong connect that they have with the world mm-hmm. in which they are absolutely disconnected with the rest of us sure. but they're very connected to mother earth mm-hmm. so that was the story that we followed in that right and um, this time the collection was called found and lost mm-hmm. uh, which was a love story which again when i show you the pieces i'll come to those okay uh, but for example something like this we did for sonam for the el cover okay and this was a very modern uh, take that we did on the mount tika okay. and this piece is actually a very hot seller with brides we have a lot of brides wearing these uh, for their weddings or for the reception now okay. so this is how we styled it mm-hmm. and of course uh, we did something like a ear cuff okay so and she did it beautifully and then uh, isha gupta right. is wearing some of our pieces in this uh, l cover again okay. so we have a lot of these young girls they're trying they're having fun with jewelry we've had anushka we've had priyanka priyanka wore uh, a very modern zipper collection uh, mm-hmm. for one of her shoots so it's, it's a good time people are experimenting vidya balan is wearing a lot of our work okay uh, she wore our pieces for coffee with karan so those are good moments they're exciting moments um, so it's it's that's that's the flow that has been there okay so which is the first movie that you have designed jewelry for actually i don't remember exactly the first one because the stylist took our pieces but i remember a very important song and fun song that we did was uh, shaadi ke side effects for vidya balan that mm-hmm. last song is uh, uh, you know that last crazy song which is there and she's wearing in fact she's wearing this as a mantika she's a very modern rebellious bride okay. and she's wearing some very stunning earrings from us so that was a very fun song with farhan akhtar that they did okay. so that was very enjoyable okay yeah. so uh, which is the best piece that you think you have designed so far oh that's a very tough question mm-hmm. you know i can't say best because you know i believe in creative one you can never be number one mm-hmm. because creativity is a perception i mean something like this this is one of sonam's favorite pieces it's a guru kanati earring okay but for somebody else this could be not as interesting to them okay. so i think creative being being in a creative field is a very personal uh, place uh, what may be beautiful to you may be average to me so when someone says that i'm the best jewelry designer in the world i don't believe that because there will be somebody who's better than you so exactly the same thing which comes in the piece but because if i tell you if this is my favorite piece i'm sure there'll be 800 more pieces uh, that are my favorite okay. so that's a tough one but yes there are some pieces that i've really enjoyed designing for example this i think right. uh was a complete modern mantika that no one had done mm-hmm. in fact 8 years back 10 years back in fact when i started people did not understand the concept of wearing silver as precious jewelry like all okay. of this uh, used to be silver then now I'm working with copper because silver okay. was always junk it was always oxidized it was always mm-hmm. you know what Uh, the little pieces or the tribal pieces so okay. i gave it a beautiful finish so i think those are moments that i think defined a lot of things for uh, the jewelry industry okay
have not been trained in uh, fashion jewelry designing right. so uh, how did you come up with i mean you have an idea but how did you come up with designing it it's a very trick question mm -hmm. uh, you know designing for me is is a very emotion i think it is for most designers it's mm -hmm. a very emotional journey like for example when i was talking about the tribes mm -hmm. it's a very emotional moment for you when you actually read up on them and you realize that uh, they're so disconnected from the rest of us but they're so connected to mother earth so i think for for all creative people mm -hmm. designing is something that really happens from the heart we use very little of the head okay. so there is very little logic so today if you ask me that why have i for example a bangle like that why have i made it not equal here okay. it's a very personal choice so when we are design when i when i say i'm not trained uh, i think it's a blessing in a disguise mm -hmm. because then i'm open to everything i'm ready to try everything i'm ready to i make mistakes a lot of mistakes because when i started 10 years back i did not know the melting point of silver i did okay. not know the soldering of silver i didn't mm -hmm. know anything okay so i've made a lot of mistakes but a lot of these mistakes have been good mistakes they've revolutionized a lot of things in the industry the kind of textures that i gave they right. were never done before in jewelry mm -hmm. so uh, when you talk about the designing process i think it's a very emotional uh, start Uh, for example the if if we come that side in sure. fact there's some pieces here mm -hmm. this was a new collection that we did it was called found and lost okay now found and lost is a love story uh this love could be for your ambition it could mm -hmm. be for your dream in life it could be for a person okay. but it's just that, that when you find something that you love so much how you lose everything in it you lose your sleep uh you lose your appetite you lose everything so it's finding love mm -hmm. and losing everything so that okay. is a story mm -hmm. so if you see the mood of the jewelry everything is very um, it's beautiful it's flowers it's leaves but everything is gray okay. everything is uh, unperfect imperfect so that's found and lost because you're finding love so you're finding the romance and the flowers but at mm -hmm. the same time you're losing yourself bit by bit in it okay. so it's a very emotional journey for most of us designers especially in jewelry because mm -hmm. jewelry is something that uh, end of when you've dressed up it's the last defining moment i mean look at the earrings okay. they're so beautiful they're they're enhancing your personality they're conveying a dialogue they're conveying a mood so i think it's a very important part of our dressing today so it has to mean something i don't like randomness you know i love those beads and things like that but i would love to mix it with something which is cultural okay. which means something which has a dialogue so i think it's that's that's where i come from i've lived in the old city for 6 years mm -hmm. um you know when you're sitting in that old city area and you see the bangle walas making the bangle in front of you mm -hmm. or you see these dancers on the road or you see ganesh visarjan and you see people dancing on the track all those are emotional moments so if we can capture that in our work not directly but some feeling which is coming mm -hmm. i think that's what i do okay so may we have a look at your latest collection of course there are some pieces yeah. here uh, german silver and i gave it a very modern kind of a finish now something okay. like this this is a very modern take on meena kari that mm -hmm. we did for example there's another piece here which is one of my favorites something like that okay it's just a neck piece yeah this is again a neck piece but it's a collar but it's not a collar which is like a like a stifling collar it's a very mm -hmm. loose collar okay. but again if you see like the romance is there because of the flowers mm -hmm. but the romance is a bit wilted because it's pain it's found and lost so there's a bit of pain okay. so i've tried to convey all of that through this and there are earrings with that as well mm -hmm. things like that so i've mixed a bit of gold with silver silver okay so primarily my work is generally always gold plated because mm -hmm. i enjoy the fact that it's indian and people love to wear it a lot of brides are wearing our work for their reception and for okay. their weddings but this time i went a bit in silver mm -hmm. i enjoyed the dull finish i enjoyed giving it the enamel uh, finish so that's what we did okay so when is the first time that you participated in a international fashion week uh i did miami fashion week in 2008 in fact mm -hmm. we were the first from the country to be selected for it okay. so that was a very big moment for us and from miami fashion week the museum of arts and design in new york picked up our work and mm -hmm. you know when a body like that when such a strong important uh, figure picks up your work you get a kind of confidence that okay you're on the right track Definitely. so that happened then to, uh, then the world gold council put us uh, by god's grace in the top 10 designers in the world mm -hmm. which is a very big moment for us okay. so you know those journeys are uh, things that have i think culminated into this part so when you talk about the first fashion moment internationally was miami fashion week which i think led us to a lot of things okay. locally in india i have been a part of wills in lifestyle india fashion week for 4 years okay. then i went to lakme because lakme uh, is allowing me to have my own show so there's a exclusive suhani pati show that happens so it's nice because i example i get to dress up the girls mm -hmm. in my kind i design the clothes so i get to dress up the girls my way so not just the jewelry but the entire body language the clothes everything is uh, conveying something very beautifully mm -hmm. so let's talk about this this one yes of course again it's a part of the found and lost collection now this is a very interesting piece can i style this on you sure let's have some fun 
So this comes like that. Okay. So this is how it is. So you wear it over a stunning black or a stunning white and it's just this. So it's it's a very strong dialogue but it's very feminine. The kariguri is very maheen. It's okay. all handmade. There's mm -hmm. no machine in my work. And I do one piece, one design. Okay. So this work makes it exclusive. Right. collection that you've designed for Fashion Week? Of course. Uh, for example, this found in losses is the latest that we just showed at mm -hmm. Fashion Week. Again, uh, the, the mood board that I just told you, the love story which is there. Okay. Then, um, that was, this, this is a bit from Dances with the Earth, the mm -hmm. whole tribal kind of feeling that we did. Okay. Then there are some, then there was a collection called Free Religion, which was a, a very strong crescent shaped collection. So, crescent could also be Shiva, mm -hmm. crescent could also be Islam. Uh, so that's why it was called Free Religion. Okay. So uh, in that I used steel. I worked with steel in that. Okay. So there's pieces all over and then um, some pieces translate from one collection into the other. The mood board is the same but the work changes. Like I use acrylic a lot nowadays. Okay. So all of that changes. It happens like that. Okay. So uh, do you design it according to the fashion today or do you design it according to the personality? I design it according to my mood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> today if if my mood wants me to play with um, a very strong character mm -hmm. then I create a geometric piece. Okay. If today I'm in a mood which is a bit somber, I'm a bit nostalgic or I'm missing my mum, dad or I'm missing Calcutta food which I do. So if when such things happen then I'm designing something which is very which imperfect. You know the imperfections in life that we all have. Mm -hmm. So I do not follow any trend. In fact if I follow a trend I think my jewelry would collapse. I don't think any of us should be trend um, should be slaves of trend. I think trends are just to guide us as to what is happening. Okay. But end of day, you, whether it's jewelry, whether it's a garment, it's very important to work on what you really like. I mean, today I'm wearing a green kurta over denims and with boots. Mm -hmm. And today you are looking so stunning in color, your color palette. But this is your style. This is my style. Who can say what is a trend? Right. So I think if with jewelry specifically, if I, whenever somebody asks me what is the trend, the basic thing I can tell them, for example, now is the ornament. Mm -hmm. For example, right now, ear cuffs are very hot. Okay. Or we did these stunning new ornament which India has never seen before. They were called palm cuffs. We did that okay. for Sonam for Khans. Mm -hmm. So, something like that is very hot. The anklets are very hot. But if you ask me what is the design, I would say that whatever you like. If you want to wear plastic dhaga, you wear a plastic dhaga. If you want to wear uh, beads, you wear beads. Whatever is you, you wear that. So, I never follow any trend because I think my jewelry would fail there. Uh, besides jewelry, actually, we also do a very large range of gifts uh, which sell very well in Hyderabad. Let, let me show you some. Sure. Um, for example, we've done a whole range of uh, these photo frames. Mm -hmm. So it's all wood based, but we've done some Indian karigari work and we've done some metal things on it. Okay. Then uh, we have these torans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are some fun photo frames. Then we have these in, in temples, they put something called torans. So they put it at the entrance of the um, temple. Okay. So we've done these things and these are very top sellers because they're greatest gifts also. Okay. In fact, our store sells a lot of gifts. Mm -hmm. um, price points are between 1500 to 6000 rupees. Okay. So it's enjoyable for people. Right. And for example, this is a chess set that we made. It's mm -hmm. all done in uh, now, for example, here we made some very fun uh, family tree. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great gift. It sells a lot from the store. Then, of course, there are some diyas, there are some tea light stands. Here's another very uh, interesting toran with uh, the omen swastik over it. Oh, yes. So, these become great gifts and people have a lot of fun, whether mm -hmm. it's anniversary, whether it's birthdays, 25th anniversary. A lot of these gifts go. Children come and pick up so many things for their parents. Mm -hmm. uh, for the mothers, they pick up jewelry. For We have another range for men's gifts as well. We have okay. cufflinks. We have visiting card cases, we have tie pins, mm -hmm. uh, we have um, uh, fun frames, kurta buttons. So okay. those things also sell very well. Come sure. on, we'll have a quick look there. Yeah. Uh, now for example, besides those, uh, we've also done a whole range of men's gifts. Mm -hmm. There are some tie holders, so for someone can just... Um, put this in the cupboard and they can suspend their ties from it sure. or we have these very interesting cufflinks for example these two are my absolute favorites mm -hmm. so 
so we have some interesting cufflinks here okay. and uh, then there are some money clips there are card holders there are fun uh, pen drives okay there are wizardy card boxes there's a whole range of children's gifts this is something this is like a mobile for children's cradle so that is there but of course there's a lot of homeware that we do there are diyas mm -hmm. uh, there are candle stands this is something that we just did for diwali okay uh, like a puja thali okay so you can put the kumkum chawal haldi and of course there's the diya the, the baati and the okay. key can come mm -hmm. so this is one aarti thali we did there's another aarti thali there okay so i'm having a lot of fun this is another you know they use it in temples mm -hmm. for doing the aarti yes yeah. So we did that as well. So again, they make a great gift. This would be a great 25th anniversary gift, mm -hmm. or even for your parents, or even a housewarming gift. Okay. So we do things like that. Then, uh, of course, there's one range which is absolute silver. So we've mm -hmm. done for Diwali. We did these so because okay. a lot of people want to buy silver on Thanteras. Okay. So we did these coins. Okay. So we did the six gram coin, eight gram coin, ten gram coin. Then there are silver platters that we've done, mm -hmm. and some very chotu coins as well. Okay. With Lakshmi ji on it. Okay. And uh, then there is a younger range as well for mm -hmm. like for example if your friends are getting married and you don't want to give them like a ceramic thing or a puja thing mm -hmm. then the younger things for example this is a tea light stand okay so the tea light goes here and it gives a beautiful reflection i've used steel in this so okay. those are some young fun gifts mm -hmm. or you have these as uh, napkin holders okay napkin rings and then there are sometimes when you just if for example my aunt is very fond of candles okay. so you give a candle so these are detachable so you can put it in any candle so you just yeah. decorate it and mm -hmm. give it so which is why i keep saying that you know sometimes if i had started work now i think it would be important to study because there is so much more uh, people have to be a lot more cleverer mm -hmm. but uh, um, for me a lot of it is blessing in disguise so i would love to go back to school and study study the techni technicalities because i struggle a lot like mm -hmm. i said i don't know a lot of things but in 10 years i've learned a lot and i think okay. that's the best lesson i bless best lesson i could get learning in the journey okay now coming to your uh, future projects now who are you designing for uh, their next movies uh, again that is something that my business partner handles so he mm -hmm. has a whole repertoire of i have just told that this person is wearing this is your timeline this is a movie schedule okay. so there are certain things in the pipeline that i don't want to talk about but uh, a lot of these uh ads we are trying to do a lot of ads right now okay uh, so things like that sometimes it also becomes difficult between hyderabad and bombay or delhi because shoots generally happen there sure. so that licensing sometimes takes time mm -hmm. schedules change so because of that uh, we talk about it as a release but yes we are doing some ads and things like that okay yeah. so how long do you take to design one particular uh, ornament for a celebrity or for a particular show you know uh if you're talking about individual designs i do about 70 a day Mm -hmm. On an average, I do about sixty-five to seventy designs a day. Okay. If you're talking about a collection, because a collection also requires a whole thought process of what the garment is going to be like, what the shoes are going to be like okay. for the models, or mm -hmm. for uh, you know what the invitation is going to be like, okay. that takes about two and a half, three months to do that whole collection. Okay. For celebrities, you have to work like this because they'll uh, like, for example, when we did something for Sonam for Kans, she'll call today, she'll need something yesterday. It works like that. You have to do that fast. So you have to be very ready with mm -hmm. uh, you know with ideas and by God's grace ideas are never a problem in our factory. Yeah. So uh, that's that's how we do it. Okay. Right, Zahani. Thank thanks so for much. your time. Such a beautiful girl. Thank you. Thank right. you so much. Not as beautiful as you. Oh, never say that. Never say that. You're Miss India. <laughs> thank you. Thank so you. I wish you all the success. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. फैशन ज्युवेल डिजनर सुहानी पिता चुटा मर एपिसोड मल्ल कल बाय